teaching licenses issued in our state hits an all-time high. And fueling that jump, the national teacher shortage, which is being felt in classrooms right here in Northeast Wisconsin. Emily Riley explains how these one-year licenses are hoping to fill open positions. Districts have to meet immediate needs. A shortage of teachers in our state is prompting more people to join the field through an emergency or one-year teaching license. According to the Department of Public Instruction, the minimum requirement to get a teaching license in the state is a bachelor's degree in any subject. With that degree and a hiring agreement with an employer, an applicant can start their job in a classroom after their one-year license is approved. It allows districts to meet needs um, for their staffing and for students while those individuals are completing training. In terms of what's happening in the classroom, we have a lot of wonderful teachers. Kristen Lighty, the Wisconsin Education Associate Council's Region 3 Director, says while she's glad the staffing issue is being addressed, she would like to see more long-term solutions. Get more staff, we have to make teaching attractive as a career again. You know, we have to make sure we're paying a living wage with reasonable health care costs. Uh, we're bringing those people in and supporting them so that they know what to do in these situations. They're not just kind of, you know, flung in on an emergency license and told, well, make it work. The DPI says teaching salaries and benefits have decreased over the past decade, which is likely contributing to the number of educators leaving the profession. Just talking with a woman last night who's an amazing elementary educator, and she's leaving us. She's going to go to Target because they'll help her pay for her master's. Lighty says she hopes the 2023 to 24 state budget will help turn things around and make teaching a more alluring career versus filling in the gaps with one year licenses. In Green Bay, Emily Riley, Action 2 News.